Hi guys, uh, welcome to Younger's Corner. Uh, today I'll be sharing with you what to watch with your kids. Uh, this came as a result uh, of what happened a couple of weeks ago. We were, were just having a family uh, evening. My husband and I decided to have a movie night with the kids just to unwind from a hard week. And everything seemed fine, so I was given the task of choosing the movie. Uh, so after minutes going through uh, the list on Netflix, I finally found a, a film that seemed decent enough. So I called the kids and everybody soon was curling up in a comfy position with a, a bowl of popcorn to start the movie. So uh, minutes into the movie, my husband and I, we just looked at each other and we said, no, we have to end this movie. Uh, the reason why is because uh, we were so disappointed to find such appro inappropriate scenes in a G-rated mu movie. We were baffled to see, like, how could this have been rated as a G movie when it's really uh, so inappropriate? The content, it was not really matching up to the, uh, to the rating. And it just goes to show, guys, that in the modern society that we're living in, the standards are being lowered and lowered because uh, evil is being called good with all kinds of uh, titles and all kinds of labels. So as parents, especially as mothers, because we mostly hold the discipline part of the house, we need to be careful. We need to be careful to what our children are exposed to, what images they're seeing. You know, this, uh, the media has taken so much into educating our children and we need to put a balance into it what the, uh, the eye is seeing, we have to be careful, especially for the young children. Uh, there's a, ch a verse in the Bible that I would like to share with you. It's actually in the book of uh, Luke, chapter 11, verse 34. And it says, your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is good, your whole body is also good. It's full of light. But when your eyes are bad, your body also is full of darkness. So this shows us that what we feed our eyes with, it really goes into the core of our whole being and it affects our lives. So if what you feel you, you feed your, light, your eyes with is something that is good, then you, it provides light to the rest of your body. And uh, I know, especially in the movies, especially on the TV, there's a lot of you know, easy sex, you know, there's a lot of nudity. And if we are not careful, our children's eyes are going to get accustomed to these kinds of images. And in no time, they'll be hooked to pornography and they'll have so uh, low moral standards because they think it's okay. Because for a child, it's very hard to draw the line between the good and the bad. But as parents, we need to build those values at home and say that these images should be shunned and the children grow up knowing that you know what this is inappropriate so regardless of where they go whether they leave the home they'll have those core values that they're taking with them wherever they are so we have to be careful what we're feeding our eyes with i say that uh, the home is the safest place for the child so it's it should be the safest place from the kind of media that they are being fed on, from the kind of uh, you know ideas that this society is, is giving. So I invite all of us to be able to take this opportunity to see what is this, even if it says G-rated, dig deeper, because your G-rated might not be what <laughs> the modern society considers as, as uh, considers a G-rated. So until then, guys, I hope uh, you know you share this with others if it has been a blessing uh, to you. If you have questions, if you have topics that you want us to discuss, by all means, you're more than welcome. Have a blessed day. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, you can go ahead and subscribe so that you can get our latest videos. Thank you and God bless you.